Hey Capricorn, how are you doing? This reading is for Capricorn for the week of July the 1st to the 7th, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And Capricorn, if you're new to my channel, I'm a Capricorn moon. I also have three placements of Capricorn in my chart, so I get you guys, I feel you guys, I can hear for you guys. This is a safe place to be, so chill out, relax, and enjoy the reading. What is going on for the fabulous and most amazing Capricorns? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time, judgment, major arcana for Scorpio. What's coming towards you? Oh my goodness, the lovers. Major arcana for Gemini. What you are focused on, the three of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You got good news coming towards you here, Capricorn. In your blocked and challenged position is the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. And your outcome is the Four of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Okay, Capricorn. Let's clarify this and find out what is going on. Can you see those cards okay? I'm not at my usual setup, so I have to improvise. Bear with me. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is a new emotional experience. Unconditional love, peace, harmony, and a choice. There's some kind of strong pull or strong attraction, or you're pulling in something here, Capricorn. It can be some kind of celebration, a friendship, a bond, socializing, and getting together with people who you love. This is a supportive circle and community, friendship. With this Ace of Cups, there also could be new baby or birthing something new. And you, it's like stepping up to the podium, making a call, reflection, self-evaluation, and rebirth. It's about the phoenix rising from the ashes. You bouncing back from a situation more stronger, more powerful, more braver than you ever thought possible. And this is about you stepping up to your calling, stepping up to your purpose, or you're being drawn to something with the lovers, which is truth, transparency, vulnerability, and authenticity. Be vulnerable enough to put yourself out there into the world. Let it shine here, Capricorn. Let's see what this judgment is. This is about surrender. Release and let go of the rope. Let go of old patterns, old habits, old outdated relationships, even connections. Because that lover's card is about a choice. Choice or decision you're making from your own heart. And the Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. A surprise, a gift, an apology. Are you just using your imagination? Let your imagination soar. Sensitive, open-hearted, inexperienced, and moody. Messages regarding relationships. New emotional experience. Experiences. A romantic encounter. Social invitation social invitations or events heighten psychic abilities and you know the page of cups playful light easy and innocence that can also be a child so there could be something about again new baby or a rebirth letting your inner child out to play to have fun Let's see what this six of, or sorry, this lover's card is. Relationships, emotions, and choices. This has something to do with somebody maybe who's smitten like a kitten, or you are attracting in this light, easy, fun interaction. Could be a friend. Because it, you know, um, judgment can be like reconciliation. So you can be like reconciling differences between you and a friend, you and your brother you and a child 
and the two of wands. Yeah, let's make some plans. Let's make some plans here, Capricorn. And again, the two of wands is always about releasing and letting go of a situation, job situation, relationship, because you got good news. You want to spread this joy. And it says, take the next step, bold and ambitious choices, partnering up with those who share your dreams or the same vision, expanding your plans, continue moving forward. And you're moving forward with transparency and authenticity. That can also be somebody who's like your two peas in a pod, your yin to your yang, or a choice. Let's let go of this one situation and put ourselves into the world or a new connection. Let's see what this celebration and community and friendship is. Yeah, look at this. News worth celebrating. Joyful announcements like engagements, wedding, pregnancy, or graduation. Graduating here, Capricorn. A time for gratitude. Close communities or chosen family. Families, family. And it doesn't have to be blood related. This could also just be like an energy Page of Cups, new friendship, new bond. And you guys just are two peas in a pod. Like, it almost feels inseparable. Like, this person just, like, um, you guys can have good banter. Or it's just easy. It's easy being with this person. Easy peasy. And the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Same thing with this Judgment card. The end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. The opportunity for new happiness. And this comes in in the midst of whatever you're releasing and letting go. So this could be like starting a new job. And it's like, oh, I don't want to leave my old job because I love my old friends. But it's like meeting somebody and it feels delicious. Okay? The end of addiction a weight lifted off your shoulders, a melodramatic reaction. Wow, there also could be people reacting here, Capricorn, about you sharing this good news. So not everybody is gonna be happy for you, yet I am. And in your blocked and challenged position is the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups in the blocked and challenged position is about what do I love? This is about having deep emotions or feelings. That also can be your intuition or blocking some kind of happiness. Loving, giving, and psychic. Queen of Cups can also be like a counselor, a therapist, holistic medicine. Maybe this is something that you want to do or expand, expand some kind of knowledge. See how she's got a book open? So maybe you haven't been an open book. But sometimes we keep ourselves hidden because we're afraid of what other people think of us. Queen of Cups gets a bad rep for people pleasing, making everyone around he or she happy to the point where you give your cup of love over here, you give your cup up there, you're giving your cup up there. And then at the end of the day, you don't feel or you have an empty cup and you're like, well, my cup is empty. And that's because your needs aren't getting met. So I need for you to express this love, the vulnerability of you to be like, this is what I would like. This is what I enjoy. Queen of Cups can also be, yeah, the people pleaser mentality. So people pleaser mentality leads to your own detrimental health. That can also be if you have been in some kind of like medical field, something to do with medicine. Maybe you want to get out of that profession, take a, take a different approach to life, take a different uh, job position. And people could be like questioning you why. Well, it's the same thing for me. I work in the medical field and I am casual there. But this is my calling. Doing this here on the channel is my calling. Nine of Pentacles. 
Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy. And the Nine of Pentacles is about self-sufficient, self-reliable. You know your worth, know your value. Internally, externally, you look freaking fabulous. But you don't see this about yourself for some of you. Nine of Pentacles is also codependency in my blocked and challenged position. So somebody who is codependent on a situation or codependent in a job. But here, this is about Queen of Cups following your heart. Nine of Pentacles is about boundaries, needing to place healthy boundaries with people, learning the word to say no, N-O. And if somebody has a response of, well, why? You used to do it before. Why aren't you doing it now? Because I'm not. And the Nine of Pentacles in the blocked and challenged position is doing something singular and solo. Whether this is your, being your own entrepreneur or you want to be independent, but there can be a person around you who's codependent on you. Or this could be like your business partner or somebody who had an attachment to a mother, somebody who's a mother. But the Page of Cups is like, if you are a mother, let your inner child out. You've forgotten how to play here, Capricorn. So you have enough. Enjoy the fruits of your labors. Hard work that has led to a luxurious life. Buying yourself something special. When was the last time you did something nice for yourself? When was the last time you got your hair did, your nails did, went to the spa? Happily and successfully self-employed. Enjoy your solitude. So this is what I mean about the self-employed aspect. But there's an element of the codependency on this because nine of Pentacles is uh, maintaining your independence like solid independence where you don't need anybody but there's an aspect of a uh, fear behind this a fear of a deep connection and relationship but it's coming <laughs> it's coming here capricorn because the four of Pentacles in your outcome is the withdrawn energy withdrawing from somebody who might have been frugal stingy controlling or maybe you have been even controlling your own self here and a need to like play four pentacles is also gripping and holding on to a person place or a situation to the point where you could smother it and burn it out there also also could be a person who is gripping and holding on to you this person knows you've got it going on but there's a level of codependency here that means i need external validation and approval that i'm good enough you've always been good enough i just had to say it's taurus and some of these relationships friendships might not be working for you or disapprove of what you're doing or where you're going but you have a bigger calling like i said there's a bigger calling so take a light approach to it. Four of Pentacles can also be dealing with somebody who is very selfish, self-centered, very greedy, only gives you the time of day when they feel like giving you the time of day. Maybe it is a friend. And you're like, well, I don't feel emotionally nourished or nurtured in this connection. Four of Pentacles can also be suppressed feelings, bottling up your feelings. Where's your feelings? In the blocked and challenged position. And if you suppress your feelings, you can explode. And who do we usually explode on? The closest people to us. The people we love. And the strength card. Major Arcana for Leo. There's healing something about your finances or healing something to do with a withdrawn or for you here, Capricorn. Um, the Four of Pentacles, let me just think about this. A withdrawn or withholding, holding back is somebody holding back from you or are you 
holding back from your purpose calling there's something bigger here and you're afraid of some kind of um, relationships ending but they have to for there to ever be growth sometimes we have to leave situations behind and you're like yeah but my mom's codependent on me here I have to look after my mom seven of swords really this is about avoiding some kind of communication like running away from a situation Seven of Swords is also my liar, cheater, stealer, thief. Somebody who steals your time, your money, your energy. What is stealing your energy? A loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. You want the freedom. Take caution and be aware of others' actions. Material loss. Make sure you are being honest with yourself. And embarrassing secrets. Embarrassing secrets. Seven of Swords is also my swift, quick movement. Not telling a lot of people your business. See how you're like running away from the situation? There also could be a person trying to run away from a situation, but you're gripping and holding on to this person like they matter. Personal power and assertiveness portrays with kindness. Compassion that brings about forgiveness and realizing that you are stronger than you knew so this is about being in a box but outside of the box is everything you want and there is some kind of new connection job position Surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspect of life. Nine of Pentacles could be mundane. It means too routine, too boring. Okay, I go to my job. I look good. I got my suit on, whatever. But is this you? Is it, is it working? Here, it's like you're being asked to resurrect. To let it shine. But be playful with it. Remember that you are a magical being with a unique and worth that. Okay, let me read that again. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspect of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that comes from just being you. And in the background, there is a white horse, which speaks of purification and purity. Surrender to trust. That's not trusting. This is, you know, I'm going to tiptoe and breadcrumb. Trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by others, other people's strong opinions about what to do here what should I do you don't have to ask this person because nine of Pentacles means you've already got it going on so just do whatever Capricorn needs to do basically trust yourself in your decisions don't be swayed by others strong opinion about what to do take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path but here it can be like withdraw have strength be brave take a new course of action whether this is a job situation or new friendships but there's a level of like i'm comfortable here i know but is the comfort zone bringing any kind of growth there also could be somebody who's codependent on you and it could have something to do with healing the mother wound right or something about um your self-esteem here like nine of pentacles is like I look good, I smell good, I taste good, whatever, but you're not seeing that about yourself. It's like you're still being too harsh to yourself here. Or you have been alone here, Capricorn, for so long. You're way too independent. Would you allow people to come in and help you? Would you take a new invitation if somebody invites you out?
surrender low self-esteem and that's what this card is because this is like self-worth self-love self-respect and there's something about the self-esteem issue or a body imaging or shaming or something about that like oh you know i you know i'm, I'm too old to start something new that's a lie that's a lie you deserve success love and abundance Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. Surrender unhealthy relationships. Three swords and ten of, or three of cups, ten of cups. So a friend, somebody who might have been, you know, um, brother, sister, I don't know what this is, right? Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. And with this, it's like mundane and boring routines, but a need for you to be strong, to be brave, to be courageous, shine your uniqueness and let your inner child out to play. It's like surrender to your inner child. This is also a reflection period here, self-evaluation about yourself. So this is about a taking a really good look at yourself here, Capricorn. Okay, so you got the Queen of Cups, which is loving, giving, and psychic. But you're blocking yourself because you've become too independent. Like so independent that, yeah, you don't need anybody, but that doesn't mean you don't want connections, that you don't want more for yourself. But you have to get in the world. So surrender that self, low self-esteem where you think that there isn't another connection out there. There isn't another job for you. Claw, be careful. Don't take risks. Calculated risks, Capricorn. And you have, you thought it through. Arcway, new opportunities, possibilities, and pathways opening up. Surrender to trust. The lovers, truth, transparency, vulnerability, and authenticity. This means basically being naked, two naked bodies standing beside each other and having trust. It means you're not judging this person, this person isn't judging you. But can you be vulnerable in that aspect? Or do you need all your clothes on? Do you know what I'm, do you know what I'm trying to say? So what is that self-esteem issue? Vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. They probably are. Why? Because you are about to take a different approach. Make a call. You might even be calling somebody up and being like, I'm sorry, but I'm being guided to go this way. And that's just the way that it has to be. And this person could be trying to be like, nope, you're not going anywhere. Like there's some kind of strong hold. Somebody's got a strong hold on you. Bear, danger, especially in money matters. You're the one with the money here. You're the one with the stability. And then there's somebody here who's frugal, extravagant, extravagance and control. Don't give your power away over to this person. Fan, romance, celebration, and party. Surrender to fun. Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Right here, four of pentacles, strength card, three of cups, and ten of swords. Walking away from relationships that are low vibrational for you. Or somebody who is arrogant, boastful, greedy, selfish, only gives you the time of day when they feel like giving you the time of day. This is about being strong enough to not grip and hold on to this person. To be like, no, this is too, this is too small for me. You're the one that has the nine of pentacles. This person has the four. Go around this person. Bell, an announcement. What kind of an announcement are you making? Oh my goodness. I have just discovered of my own self-delusion. Beware of self-delusion. It means beware of the old, outdated stories, thought patterns, beliefs, outdated systems here, Capricorn, that
that you might have been using for quite a while and running on autopilot. Now you have become either enlightenment or enlightened, consciously aware of like, I know what I need to do. And yeah, I've been beating up myself. I've been mean to myself. I've been telling some kind of story or a pattern, but now this is boring to me. I'm bored. I'm going out into the world. I'm Capricorn. Nobody's going to stop you. Maybe this arrogant, boastful rooster, depression, anxiety, worried that someone's against you. Who cares? The people pleaser mentality. Who cares? You got to care about more about yourself here, Capricorn, than what other people are doing or what other people think of you of where you're going in life. You got a soulmate on your path. But there's some kind of friendship or connection here that is holding you, holding on to you. You're like, yeah, but you know, I can't be mean to my friend. I've known them since sixth grade. Look at your friend. Have they grown up or are they still the exact same person? You're only as good as the five people you surround yourself with. Look at those people. And if you look at the situation and you're like, huh, yeah, you know what? I need to put myself out into the world. And this is about you mingling with people who might be further ahead in life than you. This is good. This is where you're going to learn. Learn new things. That's not boring. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.